here, you are going to see a series of interviews from me and several kids, ranging from different ages, um, just to kind of get a feel of what's going on in the school world and issues that kids are dealing with now and how maybe we can make a difference to assess them. And it wouldn't make sense if my first, if the first kid, or kids, that I interviewed were my very own brother and sister. My sister is 15. She does homeschooling, but also attends Cleveland State University. I know, she's smart, though. And <laughs> my brother, who is 13, and he is also in homeschooling, but he does not attend university. Um, he's not ready for all that yet. But yeah, so without further ado, I introduce my first interviewee, my schmister. Hi, everybody. So, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Tony. I'm 15 years old, and like my schmister, my awesome schmister, said, I attend Cleveland State University and Ohio Virtual Academy, and I'm in the CCP program. So yeah, CCP meaning College Credit Plus. <clears throat> you need to translate for people. Um, sorry. <laughs> okay. So, first off, as a homeschooling kid, or as a kid who's in homeschooling, I'm sure everybody has their already pre-assumed assumptions about how all homeschool kids are and, you know, all that hot stuff. So why don't you shed some light on how, you know, on what it is to be homeschooling? What are, what are the benefits of being in homeschooling? Well, people usually assume that homeschooling kids are antisocial, don't get out much. And that's not really true because because of homeschooling, you have more time to do the things that you really enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. So you can get up really early in the morning and just do all your work and then spend the rest of the day playing a sport or something. Um, right. Or playing music, doing something that you really enjoy. So mm -hmm. I really like that aspect, how it's really convenient mm -hmm. and I could travel and go to the movies if I wanted to. At the moment, probably not, but for the most part. Uh, yeah, that's... So... How about um, the whole situation, because, you know, right now there's a whole movement going on with bullying and stuff like that. First off, have you ever been bullied? Well, yeah. When, how? Describe your experiences as a person being bullied. Well, when I was in really young elementary school, it was just teasing, so I didn't worry about it too much. But then when I when we moved, when I was in fourth grade, the bullying escalated a little bit because I would people spread rumors about me behind my back. There were some people who pretended to be my friends but later on embarrassed me in front of my whole class. There was someone who stole from me, even though it was money I'd kept in my little cubby thing. Somebody stole it. I still have no idea to this day who it was. Well, you know now that you're never supposed to just leave money like that, right? Well, yeah. Um, it was fourth grade. I was yeah, immature. fourth grade, so it's okay. We'll give you. We'll give. We'll give her a pass on that one. <laughs> um, and then after we left, even though I developed some good friendships, but after we left, um, in fifth and sixth grade, the bullying wasn't as prominent, I guess, but it was a little combination of what happened in elementary school because there were still some people who talked about me behind my back mm -hmm. and there were people who teased me and made fun of my name to my face even though them at that point I I was tired of bullying and I just tried to stand up for myself but I didn't go to the teachers even though that's a very bad idea um, sometimes I went to the principal or the teachers but usually I just tried to handle it myself. And there was one time where I got bullied because I helped another kid who was getting bullied. And that one didn't last as long, but I saw that this kid was getting bullied by some older boys, and I stepped in to say something like, hey, you wouldn't want this to happen to you and stuff. 
and then in turn they ended up coming after me didn't last very long but um <clears throat> that was the majority of my bullying so how did you how first off what is the state of your self-esteem do you think do you think that you know you're confident in yourself do you feel that you're beautiful do you love yourself for the most part yes um, there are some occasional times where I feel like I'm not as pretty as the other girls, especially being in college as well. I see all these beautiful women around me, and the fact that I'm, I feel like I'm the youngest person on campus. You are. For the most part, but, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, but, um, like, seeing all these older women around me, I'm not quite a woman yet, so it kind of makes it a little difficult to truly see myself as beautiful. But, generally speaking, I feel confident in who I am. There, And even other than those women, there are sometimes where, like, the comments... People make I mean it hasn't happened in college but comments that some people have made in the past about my appearance mm -hmm. has dampened my self-esteem a little bit but I'm getting better and my self-esteem is growing plus I have an awesome sister like you to help me with that so <laughs> <laughs> okay so now um, if you were because, I mean, you've come, you've come some way, and you don't really have to deal with bullying so much anymore because, you know, with homeschooling, even though you have, like, online stuff, you know, you don't really have to deal with that, um, and you're in college, and, you know, you just kind of go to school, do your work, and come home because right now you're kind of swamped with a lot of schoolwork so you don't really have much of a social life right now yeah so bullying for you isn't so much of a problem yeah um but if you were to you know have something like that happen again how would you assess it do you think it would affect you as much as it did when you were younger probably not because i know who i am I know that I'm beautiful no matter what anybody tells me, even though sometimes I doubt it, but I, I'll i just, I'll tell that person to their face that, yeah, you can say all this stuff, believe what you want, I don't care, so. So what is your definition of beautiful, Tony? Not just outward appearance, because if you're just pretty on the outside, I'll call you pretty. I won't call you beautiful. Because if you're kind and you're generous, you're courageous, you're... How else? Just basically have good qualities, have good character. Yeah. So if you have a good character, I will consider you beautiful. But if you are mean and your character stinks and your attitude is just terrible, mm -hmm. no matter how pretty you are, I will not consider you to be a beautiful person. So then why do you doubt that you're beautiful? Because you are kind, you are sweet, you are wonderful, you are one of the smartest kids that I know, and you're not exactly ugly either, <laughs> you know? I mean, sure, right now you're 15, and you don't have complete control over your wardrobe and how you look as far as, you know, your hair and everything and stuff like that, so... You know, all these other girls who you claim to be like, oh my gosh, remember that 95% of them have makeup on? Do you guys know the wonders of makeup? <laughs> to my younger audiences, for real. If you take off the makeup off of, like, half of these girls or more, they look nothing like what they look like without the makeup. So that's... Sometimes when you find yourself comparing yourself to another person, make sure that they're plain face <laughs> if you want to compare yourself physically to them, you know. I'm not saying you should. You shouldn't be comparing yourself to anybody, but I'm just saying that that's something that you have to keep in mind for my younger people out there. So, 
even though she is my sister and she hears a lot of these things from me all the time, I constantly try to tell her, not try, I do tell her that she's beautiful on the inside and not just on the outside because what's on the inside is more important than what's on the outside. Yes, there are some people who ride by in life on their looks, but are they really happy? No. You know? Are they really, you know, somebody who, somebody who's cute and rides by life on their looks? They're not the people that have real, true, genuine friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, people who really support you because you worked hard to get whatever it is that you want to get in life. Life is not just about what you look like, you know? Whether you're a younger kid or an older adult, but I'm saying this specifically to kids because a lot of times we look at big stars like, who, who, who do you admire right now? Who are, who are, and you can tell me your guilty pleasures. And what I mean by guilty pleasures is people in media maybe you shouldn't be admiring, but you secretly do. So tell me, who do you think in the media is, like, kind of awesome right now? Both the good ones and the maybe ones that you shouldn't be. Uh, <clears throat> male or female? Both. Okay. Uh, let's say, well, actually, let's stick with female since you're a female okay um probably pink interestingly enough pink okay who else well beyonce beyonce who else jamie grace jamie grace francesca battistelli francesca battistelli uh one other person oh ariana grande actually and rihanna ariana grande rihanna Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Um, the most part, yeah, that's about it. Any of the Kardashians? No. Not even a smidget? Not really. Not even Kendall? She's admirable, but not. Kylie? She did the face. That means she secretly likes Kylie. No. <laughs> yes, she does. Yes, she does. She does. No. She totally likes Kylie. No. You think she's cute at least. Yeah. That I will admit she's pretty. There you go. Okay, so the various names that she has named. And I'm not about to start bashing on them celebrities because I'm not you guys and I don't know what you guys go through, okay? But a lot of times celebrities sometimes what they portray in media as far as like maybe different music videos or you know just like in general the persona that they put out there sometimes is not actually who they are like when they are behind closed doors you know um i and i mean a lot of times especially as kids i mean in general but especially as a kid you forget that and you think like oh my gosh rihanna's this and and you know Katy Perry's that or whoever, whoever. And life is not just about looking glamorous. Life is not life is not based on stuff like that because even the celebrities who live this kind of lifestyle, they go through a lot of scrutiny and bullying themselves every single day. They have to deal with the pressures that we put on them so that, and they have to feel like they have to look good all the time. Not all celebrities, because some celebrities are confident in who they are, but there are a lot of celebrities who unfortunately... They just live under the, the pressure. So, like, this goes to show you, no matter who you are, you can be a victim of bullying and pressure from society. Um, so, I think that, you know, my encouragement to you, and you're going to get this from me every single day of your life. Yeah. Um, or every single day of uh, my life, because I, I plan to live till about 100 but, you know, either way, I'm probably going to die first. <laughs> oh, my God. No, for real. Seriously? No, no, I'm saying, it's like, maybe you're, maybe, you say, how old are you? Fifteen. I'm seven years older than you. So six and a half. Six and a half, whatever. So, like, you know, uh, you would be 94 and I'd be 100, you know? So, yeah, if you, I'd probably die. But not probably. I would die before you. A hundred is good enough. So, so and, every day, every, why are we going into this? Um, <laughs> and that's only if the rapture doesn't happen for then. Right. So, um, I want to tell you that I love you so much. I think that, and I'm just not telling you any, I mean, I don't think that, 
I don't think that until up until recently, I didn't realize how God, how much God loves me, and how He loved me so much to bless me with an amazing sister like you. Okay, you've always been there for me. We have never fought before. Whenever I need encouragement, you're always there for me. And you're only 15, and you have the biggest heart I've ever seen in a young girl like you. So don't you ever underestimate yourself. Do you understand me? You're beautiful on the inside and on the outside. And don't you ever, ever let anybody tell you that you're anything less than that. Okay? For real. So. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Got a little emotional, Love but you too, um, I'm not doing this for the camera or anything. But this is part of the reason why I started this channel because um, this this is the kind of thing I want to do. I want to be able to talk to kids and help people out. Because I mean, what's the point of living life? I say this so many times. It's so true. What is the point of living this life if we can't help nobody else? If you if you don't want to help anybody else and you're just interested in yourself, and then you die, you don't leave any legacy that will be an example to other people who want to help, why are you on this earth? You know? So I think that we should definitely, we should definitely take into consideration, you know, um, take into consideration our reason for living, our reason for being, and help people, even in, whether it's big or little. Don't ever fail to help someone. Okay, so. <sighs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time, Tony. I will do future interviews with kids. She's just the first girl. Because I would compile them all into one video, but I don't know if y'all want to watch all these videos. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, seriously? No, no, no. When I say that, not when I watch all these videos, but I mean stacked into one. You'd have to set apart, like, you know, like a time of your day to, like, watch it because it might be, like, really, really long. Because as you can see, well, I'm looking at the screen right now, 17 minutes and 32, 33 seconds and counting. So if I did this with, like, multiple kids all in one video, you, you, you know, grab some popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't want to do that to you guys. I know you guys have a life. I know I do sometimes. Um, <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Share this video. You know, if you want to be interviewed, you know, let me know. Let me know. And we can feature you. Who is we? Me. I don't have a production team. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> I would love to talk to you. You don't. I mean, she kind of. I don't know. But kind of um, does what? I don't know. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Um, but if, um, but like I was saying, if you're a kid and you want me to interview you and stuff, I would totally be more than welcome to. But you have to ask your mom or your dad, and then yeah, I actually um, have permission slips printed up for people, um, and I'll, like, actually, like, give them the document, either fax it over to them, or, um, mail it, or hand it to them personally, and that's in the process right now, because, like I said, I'm going to be interviewing all kinds of kids, and of all different kinds of ages, so, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out, I'm so weird, okay, no kidding, um, shut up, you're weird too, I okay guys, have a great day, or evening, whenever you're watching this, I don't know. And uh, stay blessed. And I love you all. Mwah! You're not gonna kiss. Go. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Let's do it together. Ready? Okay. Mwah! <laughs> okay. Bye. to finally explode the
brunch it a little bit. Ooh, I love brunch it. I like this lady. Uh, you know, you know. <laughs> and if I show everybody on the bus, I'm going to have to like, blur their faces out. I bet the week will light up the sky. See you later, peeps.